We have new details on the brutality of the initial Hamas terror attack. But as Israel presses its military campaign deeper, there are questions about the future of all this. Here's Raf Sanchez. Tonight, a chilling reminder of the brutality of Hamas's terror attack. Israel announcing 23-year-old Shani Luke, last seen in this video being carried into Gaza by Hamas terrorists, has been found dead. Israel's president said she was beheaded. Her mom tonight saying, this is not an act of war, this is just pure terror, cruel and brutal. Shani was one of more than 250 young Israelis murdered by Hamas at the Supernova Music Festival. Many of them tried to escape along Road 232, now referred to in Israel as the Road of Death. Israeli civilians fleeing from the music festival reached this bomb shelter. They thought they'd be safe here, but Israel's military says a Hamas terrorist threw a grenade inside and it turned into a death trap. As Israeli forces push deeper into Gaza, their goal is to topple Hamas. Polls before the terror attack showed just a quarter of the Palestinian public supported Hamas. But with thousands of Gazan civilians killed and a million more displaced, even Palestinian critics of Hamas warn Israel's military response is creating the conditions for the group's ideology to survive. Hamas equals people's frustration. If the Palestinian people are more frustrated more, that means Hamas is more popular. And a new report that while Palestinian civilians desperately struggle for basic necessities, Hamas is well supplied and refusing to give it away. Arab and Western officials tell the New York Times the group has stockpiled hundreds of thousands of gallons of fuel for vehicles and rockets and enough food, water and medicine to last for months. Hamas still believes that they can put up a fight. Gershon Baskin is an Israeli negotiator who has dealt with Hamas. Even if Hamas as an organization can be defeated, can its ideology? No. The only way we can replace the reality of the horrible life that the people in Gaza and in Palestine have had over the last 75 years is to create a new reality. And Raf, we're hearing for the first time from Hamas's leader in Gaza. What is he saying? Lester, his name is Yahya Sinwar. I met him in Gaza several years ago. He has a brutal reputation and says he wants all Palestinian prisoners released in exchange for the hostages. Israel says he's their number one target. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.